I guess was that maybe you guys learned what happens when you're a ranked team and someone comes in every night trying to beat you? Well, I, I think that, first of all, Purdue is an outstanding team, so we should recognize that they are an outstanding team. And so I, I want to give credit to the coach and to the team. They're well prepared and they work extremely hard. I've watched other tapes. Uh, it's not an accident that um, they've beaten uh, three of the other teams. I think Michigan, Ohio State um, went into overtime with South Carolina. It's not an accident. They're well disciplined. They, they execute. Um, it, we have an extra target on our back, and the greatest fear is that um, we would feel the pressure, even though we're here, even feel the pressure more because um, we know <coughs> that the last time we were ranked and we proceeded to lose, uh, and we never returned to the big, t you know, to the top 20 again. So we're guarding against all that. But I, I think that a lot of that has to do with the uh, uh, maturity of the upperclassmen um, who really. Um, you know, know that this is the last shot, and they're doing everything <coughs> they possibly can and communicating with each other. And um, so, even people like um, Sharice, she's she's an upperclassman. You know, she's a fifth-year senior. Um, so it, it was good. It was good to see the great effort by everybody. Is uh, the lack of rebounding a uh, cause for concern after today? I know you guys are out rebounded by 14. No, I'm irritated about that. You know, to be honest with you, so you shouldn't even have said that. <laughs> You know, no, I'm pissed, excuse me. I'm pissed about that because it doesn't make sense. We knew that the kid that, the, the, the big girl that's inside, that girl jumps out of the goddamn sky, but instead of us putting a body on her, we're trying to jump with her. She jumps and she rebounds. But, but honestly, this team has done extremely well on the rebounding department. We've out-rebounded people by 12 and 14, time, 14 um, rebounds uh, at, at various times. So for whatever reason, we seem to be out of sync in that in that department and that that killed us but we got rebounds at crucial times mm -hmm. and uh that's really uh what this all boils down to we're glad we escaped with a, a win uh but perhaps we've gotten over that now and um you know what michigan comes in here next and uh, they're coming yeah they're coming who, who we got michigan michigan state okay well, one of the michigans <laughs> is it green or blue somebody's in here with a different color uniform on they're coming in here right so um, we'll, we'll be ready. I, th I think we have been working extremely hard. And um, I'm hoping that we can rest, really take advantage of tomorrow, get our legs in some ice, and uh, be renewed. But, um, but it wasn't because of lack of effort. And I honestly do appreciate the fact that the team came hard, hungry, and never gave up. So that was a good thing to see. Sasha, thousand point, I mean, did you know it in the moment? I think it was on free throw. No, I didn't know it, but um, <laughs> um, someone had said something to me about it in the in the circle. But I was in the heat of the moment, so it was just like I don't know. I was so focused, it really wasn't like on my mind. So. Well, let me ask you a question. Did, did you tell her that? Okay, good, because because I, you know what, that's the worst thing. I know you know when there's anything ensuing, like whether it's a thousand points or five hundred points or whatever. I mean, that's hard to get. So uh, I didn't know it about it, honestly until after uh, the game, but uh, it was a great way to end. Mm, yep. You mentioned last, I mean, do you talk to the team about that? Do you dwell on last year, how that ended, or is that something? No, no, I don't think I did. As much as I definitely made a point of saying we, we've been here before, and it's not like this is the first time we're ranked. You know, we, we need to act like we've been here before. We don't get excited about it. It's like we should have been here in the first place. Now let's make sure that we secure everything. and. Um, and treat everything as though this is how we play. Mm -hmm. and, um, and and when you do that, because honestly, um, I think that we've been a gritty, hard-nosed <coughs> team in the first place. We really have been gritty, hard-nosed, we've been focused. This is the way we play. And um, if we have that mindset and believe that if we stick to the way we've got to play and demand the best of, of each other, uh, like I said, the rebounding, um, we've done a much better job of mm -hmm. rebounding, and I, I assure you, we know that we're going to get, you know, do much better. Uh, Coach, one for you. Uh, so you guys had 20 turnovers today. What did you think of the defensive performance overall? I'm sorry? You had 20 turnovers. You forced 20 turnovers today. Oh, what do you think about the defensive performance overall? Yeah. Well, I think Purdue is recognized as one of the best defensive teams in the Big Ten, right? Okay. Well, we lay claim to that as well. Mm-hmm.
Facts. You know, so they can have their spot. We'll have our spot. But we believe and know that we're a great defensive team as well. And at the end of the day, we don't care if, we, if the score is 13 to 12, as long as we got 13. You know, so um, and that and we do know that that involves everything, the rebounding and all those other things. Uh, it, but it was it was it was really kind of strange because um, they they hung in there. I mean, Purdue kept coming at us, coming at us, and um, it was it was hard. They they are an, an outstanding team. Let me just say it like this: it was not an easy game, but I'm glad that we got through. And we're gonna there's a lot of things that we're gonna work on to make sure we're gonna handle those crucial situations in the future.